What happens to us in childhood can change the entire course of our lives, and that's definitely true for recent Cedarville grad Haley Good. The unusual circumstances of her birth set in motion a career that she is passionate about today. It's this week's Tell Me Good News. Life did not begin easily for Haley Good. She was born at just 24 weeks gestation at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus. That's extremely early, very premature. You should not be born that early. Haley spent four and a half months in the NICU. She was intubated, needed heart surgery, faced scoliosis, and spent her entire adolescence dealing with the developmental effects of prematurity. Just being able to um, be okay that I'm just not normal, being okay with that. <laughs> um, I had to accept that very early on in life um, and I had to learn that the hard way. Despite the challenges, it all gave Haley a purpose. You ask a five-year-old, what do you want to be when you grow up? I was like, I want to be a nurse. I want to be a NICU nurse. And so I knew that that's what I wanted to do and truly like that never changed. Her passion and drive to become like those who had helped save her life led her to Cedarville University's nursing program. Haley's professors say her determination is something truly unique. She has a remarkable story um, and a remarkable faith. Um, she has persevered and um, persisted through a lot of obstacles. And so I think the one thing that stands out to me is just her humility um, and just her drive to be a good nurse. And now Haley's life is coming full circle. She'll soon start a new job as a NICU nurse at the same hospital where she was treated as a baby. Haley says it's been a journey of faith from day one. I grew up in a very, very um, strong faith-based family. And so growing up, that was that is why you are alive. Like the, the Lord saved you and there's no other explanation for it. The Lord has a purpose for my life and I'm going to hopefully fulfill that purpose. Now Haley begins her new job as a nurse at Nationwide Children's next month. She says she'll actually be working alongside many of the doctors and nurses who were working at the NICU while she was there as a patient and she calls that a great honor.